This is Dwayne Friend with University of Illinois Extension. You see them being puffy, sheet-like, or in the form of wispy strands. Clouds can be seen almost every day of the year. How do these floating objects form? First, water vapor must be present in the air. Water vapor is water as a gas. You can't see water vapor, but there can be millions of gallons of water vapor overhead at any time. When air cools, its ability to hold water vapor decreases. Air cools as it rises because it expands. If air cools to the point where it reaches its maximum capacity for holding water vapor, further cooling will cause some water vapor to change into liquid water. This process is called condensation. However, the water vapor must condense onto something. Dust, pollen, smoke, or sea salt particles must be present in the air for condensation to occur. These are called condensation nuclei. Cloud droplets are very small. Several million droplets could fit in a large soda bottle. Because they are so small, they fall very slowly. So slowly that air movement can keep them suspended. When two small cloud droplets collide, they join together to form larger droplets. This collision and combining process is what makes the droplets increase in size. Some droplets may have a small icy center, which can lead to the formation of snow or a combination of ice and snow called grapple. If they get large enough, they will fall as precipitation. Actually, most precipitation starts out in a frozen state. There are three main cloud forms. Cumulus clouds are the puffy, cotton ball-shaped clouds. The bottom of these clouds are usually only a few thousand feet from the ground, but the tops can be over 60,000 feet when they grow into thunderstorms. Stratus clouds are blanket or sheet-like clouds. They can form at many different heights, including forming at the ground when it is then called fog. Cirrus clouds are high clouds that look like thin, wispy strands of hair.